Okay, this section is uh, an example of feedback given to students. So what you can see here is, um, well, the, the item that I focused on particularly is the feedback given during presentations, because this is something that I didn't really have any idea how you might mark a presentation. Um, so I asked uh, another lecturer, and he went through what he does, and this is um, helped. And I actually went along and watched him um, watch some presentations that he was marking, and then later on we met and he explained how he then turned what he'd seen into a mark. So I made my own notes as I went along and saw how they linked up to the mark that he decided on, and that was a very useful process actually. I did that um, towards the end of the second semester before, the, in, in which the PGC took place um, before the third semester when I actually had to mark presentations of my own. So what I did was I wrote myself a sheet out with some spaces to fill in. Um, so this had, uh, well, the, the name of the group, I should say that I I teach two groups, group A and group B, in, in 18 students in each. So I said to them, um, I'm going to put you into teams. I'm going to call them teams rather than groups, uh, so, so, um, so that we don't get confused between the two. And then one of the groups decided to call themselves Group 2. So their team name is Group 2, which, and they were Team 2. So that's them being a little bit silly. I think the other one that I picked is Match of the Day. Now this was a group who, a, a team I should say, who couldn't think of a name. And I said, what's your favourite TV programme? <laughs> so that's how those came about. Now, for the presentations they were given five minutes per speaker. So if there were three of them in a group, they would get 15 minutes, and if there were four of them, they would get 20 minutes. Um, you'll see that what I've done is I've written the time that they started and the time that they finished at the top of the page, but I've also tried to write the time when each speaker started, because I'm marking them, part of the mark scheme was for organisation, which is dividing the time between the speakers, um, and taking the right amount of time overall, so they get time management marks. Um, now then, and uh, so what I've done is I've, I've laid out a section of notes for each speaker. Now what I realise is that I've this was slightly wrong. First of all, I didn't leave any room for the sort of opening introductory bit. I just left room for the four sections, the four, three or four, depending on how many speakers, and that I could have done with. But also under each speaker, I left room for visual presentation, which is to say the slides, the visual aids, and what have you and for the organisation of it. Now those, they're all working from the same slides, and the organisation is kind of time management and, and how well they uh, work together and things like that. So those two should have been one section for everybody, not one section for each speaker. That, that was silly. Um, and then I gave each speaker a presentation style, as in their personal manner, how well they come across during the presentation, and for content, which was really just that I would note down which bit of content they gave, because later on uh, I was asking them to send me their presentations and then um, I could remember which student had done which bit because I'd made a little note of it. So then what the lecturer who I observed doing, working with these feedbacks, what he did was he made notes at the time and then he told me that the best thing to do is to wait a few days. Um, make sure you've seen all the presentations, then wait a few days, give yourself some time to think on it, to reflect on it, to mull it all over, and then write the feedback up. Because you've got your notes from the time, provided you've made good notes, you can remember what was going on, but also you've had a bit of time to reflect on it, and, and you don't you write better feedback at that point, he, he thought. So this is what I did, which I think was quite good advice, to be honest. Um, so what else you can see on this page is the typed up feedback that I presented to these students. Now this also includes feedback on the other aspects of the assessment, which is the initial plan, the minutes, and the report that they wrote. Um, I've tried as best as possible to be consistent with the feedback, so that each student, each group gets feedback on the same elements, and that those elements are the um, elements that I put in the assignment brief. So I haven't tried, I haven't I've tried not to feed back on things that they weren't asked to do, if you see what I mean, um, either in the assignment brief or in a, pre a giving presentation session that they were given by um, a chap from the university came along and gave us a, he was a skills expert and came and gave a session on giving presentations. So what he suggested, what his advice was, uh, was also included in that. Um, I've tried to be helpful and constructive, I've tried not to be unnecessarily negative, uh, and so on and so forth. So, so you can see that. Um, on this page.